I'm excited. Are you excited? It's going perfectly, almost perfectly. What's up, fertility babe? Let's get these babies, ladies. Hey now, it's the evening time. I did a live with you guys. We did a live watch party, which was fun. So for those of you guys who are on the watch party, you know that progesterone got open thanks to y'all's encouragement. I appreciate you. Can you guys see me? I am, I've already taken my nighttime meds. We talked about this on the live, but it's probably the prednisone that's keeping me up late and me taking it like after nine o'clock is no good. So I think I'm gonna start targeting 6 p.m. I mean, it's still later, but I have to have an a.m. and a p.m. So I just figure six is good, you know? Um, I have packed up my love knocks for tomorrow. I will numb myself before I head out. <sighs> yeah, because I'll leave like 7.40. I have to be there by 8. It's seven. It's not even seven stops. It's five stops away from me. So I should be there in 15 minutes. But just in case I miss a train, a train is delayed, whatever will give me 20 minutes. Um, yeah. So that is kind of that. I'm glad we talked about it. I forgot prednisone keeps you up and keeps your mind going. Also, you, you guys recommended um, affirmations and meditation. I wrote it down. I can't remember. It's fertility something meditations. So I'm going to start listening to those and just, you know, take it down a notch. But I think, I think that's it. I'm going to do my, wash my face really well before I go to sleep. I didn't put on any makeup today because I did the facial. Last night, it was so good. I was going to do my nails tonight, but I think I'm going to go to bed early. I did not cook today. I ordered, I wanted barbecue, so I ordered ribs that were falling off the bone, greens, mac and cheese. I'll have some wafer pudding. I'm going to eat that before I go to sleep. I also ordered mashed potatoes, but it was more like smashed potatoes, and they did not taste fresh. <sighs> I could have not been in the mood for it. I saved it. I'll taste it tomorrow. And if they still don't taste right, I'm just going to toss them. But it's nice to have a, like, a fridge full of stuff. So I have a salad that I'm going to take for lunch. I'm going in the office tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll stay all day, but I'll definitely stay through lunchtime. I'm taking the salad. I have strawberries. I'll probably do a shake in the morning because I've been... Meaning to put my collagen in the coffee and it hasn't happened, but if I do like a shake or a smoothie, I'll put the collagen in there and maybe with, I think I have to have frozen strawberries. I'll use the frozen strawberries, maybe some avocado. We'll see. Cause it's an early day. I got grapefruit too with the groceries. Maybe I'll take a grapefruit to work. We'll see. We're not gonna stress ourselves. I gotta put one load from the washer to the dryer. It's like underwear and stuff. So I need to do that and figure out what I'm gonna wear. But yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm finally excited about the cycle. Where before I was like, okay, let's just get it over with. Now I'm feeling excited. Um, we're just gonna name it and claim it. I'm a month and three days, or a month, a week and three days pregnant. And we're gonna be starting the third S-Trace tomorrow, the third estrogen pill. We're gonna order more Love Knox and we're gonna keep it moving. I'm so glad I talked to you guys today. I do definitely feel better. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to positive pregnancy tests, buying up stuff, filling out my registry, nursing, you know, getting, inspecting breastfeeding pumps and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys for that. <sighs> I'll see you in the morning. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly, don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with Okay, all done. So 
there is a cyst. It is 19 now, which I told her. She said, did you have a cyst before? I said, I had a 12, even though the other lady didn't call it a cyst, but it's 19. But the lining is good, it's 8.8. .8. It's tri-laminar, triple stripe. Hopefully we're all good. Hopefully we just move on to another thing of S-Trace. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no sperm coming in, so I don't imagine that that cyst is gonna be a bother, right? All right, I'm headed to the office. Um, um, I didn't get here at eight, y'all, I didn't get here at eight, but everything is okay. Headed to the office. I'm wondering now, like, why is it getting bigger, the cyst? Like, shouldn't it get smaller? Um, we're just gonna name it and claim it. We're gonna move forward. I'm so excited about my lining. All the healthy eating and the omegas are working, so yay! Let's just enjoy a moment at a time. All right, I'm gonna walk to the office, stay my ass out of Nordstrom's, <laughs> and uh, my first meeting is at 9.30, so I should be good to go. It's not too warm out here. That subway is packed in the morning. I normally don't take it so early, oh my God. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm excited. Are you excited? It's going perfectly, almost perfectly. I almost forgot. They did not take the sharp containers there. They gave me an address for a hospital. They said, or take it to any hospital. I didn't even try the meds because I did. I was running late. I was like, let me just try these. So I just gotta drop them off at a hospital. I might give them to Cheyenne to give to the alarm went off. Um, he works in a hospital. I don't know if that's too much. I'll find a hospital. We'll see. Treated myself to ice matcha from Juice Press. And I still have four minutes to spare before my meeting. I'm excited. I feel good. I just sent one of my TTC sisters an update. I um, might go on the message boards on simplytanika.com and ask if anybody had a sister in their uh, FAT. I don't think it matters. <laughs> Why can't I just enjoy the moment? I always gotta worry about something. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, I just, I really, I feel super excited. But then there's a part of me that's like, should you be? I'm gonna be excited until I have a reason not to be. I can't stop smiling. I think this is it, y'all. This is when you know your job is gangster. You got multiple hot sauce options. Yeah, me too. I'm going with this one. So what you call a corpus luteum cyst, which is consistent with ovulation, and your progesterone level confirms it. It's at 6.799. And we don't want a person to ovulate at all uh, unless we were doing a natural cycle. So despite the estrogen, uh, you ovulated through it. So you, we would have to cancel this cycle out. Oh. Um, I know. But you can't, you, you have to, you, you would, we would not know when to transfer the embryo. You don't want to take a gamble with that. I see. Okay. Yeah, it's. You you want the we want the progesterone level to be less than one, and you were at six point seven nine nine. So weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, did you feel anything like over the weekend? Like, uh, <laughs> or anything? Um, I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I now that you say that I remember having like a crampy like not even a crampy but like a pinchy feeling um but that's, I guess that's what it was okay but I'm like it hasn't even been 14 days like what is today I oh know. no today's the 15th so I started on like cycle I mean I started this August like 3rd day 10. yeah uh-huh well, you start when well, you came into our office on the 6th, on August 6th. Right. And you must have started, like like you said, like on the 3rd, 4th, or 5th. Yeah, I st it started um, Wednesday. Well, it, the uh, first official, I think, cycle day one ended up being Thursday because I started after the cutoff. Mm -hmm. Um. 
but I usually don't ovulate on my own until like cycle day 13 or 14. So I don't know why it was early. But even with that, but my whole point is that we were giving you estrace and the estrogen typically in most cases, not all cases, will suppress you from even ovulating. Okay. And we weren't able to suppress you. So you uh, ovulated through it. So with all of that being said, one of two things, and I'm always afraid to consider Lupron for you because of your age, that I'm afraid it may, whatever we do, could throw you into menopause. Uh, But women who are a little bit older, sometimes they ovulate later than expected or even earlier than expected. It's unpredictable many many times. Okay. Uh, and so in those cases, we have where we give a, a non-Lupron protocol, I mean, a, a, a Lupron protocol where we press your hormones first and which can make you feel, you know, hot flashes, night sweats, moodiness, all of that. And then once we see that everything is suppressed, then we add the estrogen to the regimen. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then we move forward with that. So that would be one protocol that we could use to even that would definitely prevent you from ovulating or we continue with the uh, we take another chance with the protocol that we're using and just bring you back more frequently uh, earlier than what we normally would. Okay, <clears throat> what do you suggest? I kind of feel like we should do the Lupron given everything, especially with the adenomyosis Uh I mean I think it's worth the risk at this point what are your thoughts I think so I think so too uh, Tanika because I mean you're right there I mean menopause starts (laughs) right I'm I'm pushing it I'm pushing it (laughs) (laughs) but that's why I say you know I just want to make sure you're aware because I may very well push you right into it or it may have been that you were going to go right there anyway. You know, it's hard to say because you're right. Right here at that at that crossroad. You know. Yes. So I I I I think we should go and try it since this happened. So I, I think, think so. Adenomyosis. You know. Yeah, I think this is a sign. We're going to take this as a positive sign. So what do I need to do now? I should, I actually, I have to call Braverman because they want to wean me off. They don't want a full stop on anything. Um, Uh But at least, because I'm doing the Lovenox and the, um, oh my God, I'm talking so loud. Sorry, I got excited. Uh, The Lovenox and the prednisone. I have to ask you, have you been uh, sexually active? I have not. Okay. The reason I ask, because if you haven't been sexually active, as quick as we, since we have documentation that you've ovulated, Mm -hmm. uh, we could get you on the Lupron pretty quickly. Okay? Okay. Otherwise, we would have to wait till you start a period and then go from there. But now that we have it documented that you've ovulated, um, what we would do is you would take the, if we can get it tomorrow or the next day, we would, um, have you start taking the Lupron, you would take it for two weeks before you come back in so we can see if everything is suppressed. Oh, okay. And everything is, and everything is suppressed. Then about two to three days later, you probably get a period. you would be, what is this? But that's the period coming off of the, the, um, the suppression with the Lupron, okay? Okay. And then we would keep you on the Lupron, but now we would lower the dose of it and then add the ashtray. So it's like a five-week process instead of a three-week process. Two weeks to suppress, and then the regular part, like what you were going through now. Okay, so I'm sorry, I just want to make sure. So would I end up having a period, or we're suppressing it where nothing is going to happen? Yeah, you will have a period. Okay. Uh, But it would be, you know, after you've been on the Lupron, typically for about two weeks. Gotcha. Okay, so it's almost like when we used to do the priming cycles when I was doing egg retrievals. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let Katrina and Nicole know that I'm canceling this cycle out. We're going to move you into the Lupron cycle. Okay. Makes sense. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.
All right, that's just a sign. That's just a sign. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the loop run. Y'all heard. I think that makes the most sense. <laughs> The girls stayed here all day. I did not put up the puppy gates. They were okay. I was watching them on the camera. They were good for, I mean, they were good all day, but about the last 30, 45 minutes, they both were sitting by the door, um, which sometimes they sit over there because it's cooler. Like it's the hardwood floor is right there. There's no rug right as you come in. But I think they were just waiting on me. And um, as soon as they heard me get off the elevator, cause I was watching them, they were like, anyway, it was good. I'm not going back into the office till Thursday. I'm just sitting out here enjoying the view. I just saw a big fly go in there. I just have to laugh at myself after this whole extravaganza. Like the moment I was willing to accept that it might happen, no more than a few hours later, it was all gone. The later it got, the longer it took, I knew it was gonna be canceled. I was sitting, I was talking to one of my TTC sisters. She was asleep. I sent her the message this morning right after the monitoring. But she was saying they have, she has been known to ovulate early too and they have put her on Ganorel X. Ganorel X, you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, so the, the loop run is okay. I think also I needed this to come to the conclusion of the loop run because I was kind of on the fence. I wasn't absolutely against it. And then talking to you guys about it, I got good feedback about like not everybody had horrible symptoms some people did but I mean listen I'm 51 menopause is coming sooner or later I think it's just extended for me because my mom was a teenager when she had me right so my telomeres are longer because I started off with a very young mom it's it's not the end of the world so and I some of you guys said you had no symptoms whatsoever or you had symptoms while you were on it and then you were fine so yeah this happened to me in May too. I must have ovulated twice because I had two cycles in May um, that were like maybe 18 days apart. So yeah. I'm gonna have a cycle. I need to go back and listen to what Dr. McConnell said. I'm gonna have another cycle, but we're gonna suppress me so that I don't ovulate. I think that's what it is. I don't need to worry about OPKs. I should have OPKed last time, but I'm not gonna go backwards. We're not gonna do shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? We're gonna move forward. Um, justice, justice. She must have went inside. Come there, okay. This one wants to be rubbed. She nudges my hand. Oh, I hear Justice's little feet. Hold on. Oh. Okay, hold on, let me let your sister back out here. Crazy. Justice, you wanna come back out or you want Liberty in? Okay, well you guys stay in there then. I'm gonna be out here. You coming out? Okay, you coming out? Oh, now everybody's coming out, okay. Monkey see, monkey do. You want back on my lap, Liberty? You wanna be up here? Oh my God, I got the biggest kisses when, uh, when I got back here, which was nice. Yeah, so I just think this is a lesson to take it all in stride. Everything happens as it should be. Trust the process, all that good stuff that I never ever listened to. I wanted a problem and I gave myself one. <laughs> I'm okay though, I'm actually okay. I did set up my appointment for my September testing as far as my physical and my well woman. I was laughing when the doctor was like, I have to ask you, have you had sex? Girl, no, <laughs> it's cobwebs up in there. Aunt Wanda is the most action this this who I didn't had in a minute. So yeah, and you guys know why she asked me that, right? Because I that she just want to make sure I was not pregnant before they started me on the looper on. So or that I, there wasn't a potential for me to be pregnant. So there's not. So we can get started. They did call in the Lupron. I called the CVS Specialty Pharmacy. They did not have the script yet. I got the email saying it was sent over, but the lady, actually I'm gonna call tonight. She said it takes a while, so to call back by seven. Hopefully the copay is only like 10 bucks, no more than 50 bucks. But I will tell you, all my bills are paid. I feel good, all my bills are paid. Um, I have groceries, I have a job. So all of, I'm grateful for all that. I have two puppies who love me and yeah, this next cycle is already paid for. I'll just have to do monitoring again, but it's like, obviously we didn't have the transfer, so that money is still good. It would be better sitting in my bank account, sis, but that's okay. <laughs>
<sighs> All right, what an interesting journey. Yeah, very interesting. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. Uh, I don't know when this will post, but we'll do a watch live and just talk through all of it. But yeah, um, I want to go on Instagram and be like, my cycle got canceled, but I need to just like process all my emotions first. And <sighs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I think I'm not yet at the place for feedback and input. And so that's why I'm not going to do it. Because I was like, oh, maybe I'll go live and then hide that video or not post the live. But I need to just be still for a minute because I was thinking all kinds of things like, oh, now it's not going to be a May baby because then I was like excited about May because Cheyenne's born in May. I'm born in May. The puppies are born in May. So that was like a sign. Um, I need to stop looking for signs and just trust. So, yeah, I think this is how it was meant to be. I mean, it has to be. It has to be how it was meant to be. So we're gonna accept it move on i'm gonna go into this new one with the meditations going in calm not looking for problems not welcoming problems just going with the flow taking it day by day if we've learned nothing else we've learned take it day by day this journey will teach you patience i'm learning <laughs> Woo. yeah I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Mm. <sighs> Baby does to us all. Um.